vehicle is in startup. Both stages are beginning to pressurize for launch. In a few seconds here, we should be hearing the launch director give the final go for liftoff. LD on countdown one, go for launch. And there you heard it. That is the final go for launch at T minus 35 seconds. All systems are go for the Transporter 1 mission. Let's listen and watch in as we lift off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in seconds. Florida. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. Two bolts pitching downrange. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. plus 43 seconds into flight. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower and is currently throttling down to prepare for max Q at around the T plus one minute and 12 second mark. Max Q is where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. Falcon, Falcon 9 is supersonic. Q. And we've just passed Max Q. That is a really cool tracking shot of Falcon 9. All is looking good with the Stage 1 trajectory. Uh, in about a minute, we have three events coming up in quick succession. First up is main engine cutoff. That's where the nine engines on the first stage will shut off, followed by stage separation, where the first and second stages will separate from one another. Uh, shortly after that, we'll have a second engine start one. The Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite its engine and continue its journey into orbit. And vac engine chill has begun. We're about 20 seconds away from main engine cutoff, the start of those three events happening in rapid succession. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Coming up in a few seconds, we should have the fairing deploy. In back ignition. Fairing separation confirmed. And there you can see the two fairing halves have separated and fallen away from the vehicle, exposing the 143 spacecraft to the vacuum of space. And as a reminder, our recovery vessel, Miss Chief, will be attempting to recover the fairing halves today from the water. And there is the entry burn. Three of the nine Merlin engines have relit. This burn is expected to last for about 30 seconds. Second stage in terminal guidance. Stage one entry burn shut down. And you can see on screen the entry burn has concluded. And in just a few seconds, we should be hearing the call out for a second engine cutoff, where we'll shut down the second stage MVAC engine. FDS is saved. 
There's the second stage. And Falcon 9 returns safely once again. That is the fifth time for this particular booster and the 73rd recovery of an orbital class rocket. A great way to start off the mission and a great way to start off the Sunday.